Super far. My aunt was making dinner for the whole family. But while she was cooking, I heard someone who needed help. It was my little cousin. So I put on my super cape and dashed to the scene. First, I sing him a song to make him happy. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. After that, I played a really cool game with him. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Oh, and I could tell he was getting a little sleepy, so I gave him his favorite passy. Here you go. And before my aunt was finished making dinner, my cousin was fast asleep. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Took a long trip, did you? Hey, Ollie. My aunt lives so far away, but I got to help my baby cousin. It was so fun. I'm glad you could go there. Oh, you can be super anywhere. It's true. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay. Sit. <laughs> Beg. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Good job, Stormy Jane. You can take a break and go get yourself a treat. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the Dog Walker. It's nice to see you. I was just finishing up a little doggy training session with my best dog, Stormy Jane. She's learning to do so many big things. In fact, there's a great story in the Bible about someone who did a really big thing. His name was David, <laughs> and he was a shepherd who took care of his father's sheep. <gasps> Here they come. David watched over them day and night. He made sure they had green grass to eat and clean water to drink. And he watched over them and kept them safe. But one day, while the sheep were asleep, a big lion came near them. <laughs> Stormy Jane, are you pretending to be a lion? You're always trying to get in the story, but this one's not for you. Silly dog. No, the big animal that came near the sheep 
was a real lion. Can you pretend to be a lion and roar with me? On the count of three, let's hear your roar. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Oh, wow, great job. Well, the lion snuck up to the sheep and took one away in his mouth. David stood up. He knew he needed to rescue the sheep, but that was a big job. He was far away in a really big field all alone. But David knew he wasn't really alone. God was with him and made him to do big things. And that gave David the courage to save the sheep. God helped David be strong and brave. David ran to the lion and saved the sheep. Yay, David! The Bible teaches us that we can be strong and courageous because God is with us. God was with David and God made David to do big things like save the sheep. God is with us and he made us to do big things too. He is with us at the park, on the playground, at night when we go to sleep. No matter where we are, we can remember that God is with us and made us to do big things. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God was with David in the field, and he is with us everywhere we go, too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, God was with David and helped him do big things even out in the field. And God could help me to do things anywhere, too. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so glad God was with me at my aunt's house far away so I could help my baby cousin. Whatever the day brings, God made us to do big things. See you later, super friends. Here I go.